So this is part two of problem 1-43, where we are creating an income statement, a statement of owner's equity, and a balance sheet. So in this video, we're going to be doing the statement of owner's equity. So we need to open up our accounts again. And as always, our three-line heading. The first line is the name of the company, Hometown Decor Company. The second line is the name of the statement that you're working on, statement of owner's equity. And then the third line is time related. So we have to figure out, is it a single day or a period of time for the, like for the year ended December 31st? So remember the statement of owner's equity, its goal is to show you what has happened to equity over time. We start with the beginning capital, we end up with the ending capital and in between we show the things that affected capital. So the statement of owner's equity is for a period of time. Oops, I forgot the name of the statement. So here we go. We need the time. Year ended December 31st, 2024. And then back to the formula, we need to start with beginning capital. So over here in this box, we need to find the capital account and it's right here. December 31st, 2023. Now notice here it says the capital on January 1st, 2024. So the previous day, the balance was 56,000. So what happens with accounting years is the ending balance of one year becomes the beginning balance of the next year. So notice this is December 31st of 2023. So this is the ending balance of that year, which becomes the beginning balance of this year. So I'm going to copy and paste 56,000. Then we need to review our formula for the statement of owner's equity. Next, we add investments. Remember B-I-N-D-E, bind with an E. The I stands for investments, also known as owner contributions. So in this box, we're going to look for something that says either investments or owner contributions. Here we go, owner contributions. $28,000. So that means the owner invested $20,000 of cash into the business. Owner contribution. Next, B-I-N-D-E. The N stands for net income. So where do we have net income? Is net income in on this box? Well, no. Remember the formulas um, for the three statements. We always do the income statement first because we need to calculate net income. So we're going to take the net income from the income statement and then put it on the statement of owner's equity. So we have our income statement right up here. Here's our income statement. So I'm just going to copy and paste the net income. Scroll down, plop it in here, and that's our net income. And then the publisher likes to do a subtotal here. So the way we get that is we're going to take 56,000 plus 28,000 plus 115,700 gives us a total of 199,700. And then getting back to our formula, bind with an E, the D stands for draws. So this line will be withdrawals, owner withdrawals. So we need our box again with the data. Let's see, where's the owner withdrawals? Here we go. Hunt withdrawals, 36,000. I'm going to copy and paste that. And let's see if they're going to make us put a minus sign in there. Enter any increases in capital prior to the subtotal and any decreases to capital below the subtotal. Okay. So this is just saying this is a subtotal. So put the increases here and put the decrease here. So I'm going to put a minus sign there. So then we use the calculator. What I'm going to do is take 199,700, 199, minus the 36,000. 36,000 gives me $163,700 for ending capital. Check my answer. Well done. Let me scroll back up. Let's just analyze this really quick. 
So the main thing is we want to see capital go up for the year. So it was 56,000, ended up with a lot more, 163,700. So capital went way up. And what's the main reason that capital went up? A large net income. So this company looks like it's doing pretty well so far. So the next video, we'll do the balance sheet.